Hello and welcome soccer fans to the final insider of the 2011 season on the CMU Sports Zone brought to you by CMUChippewas.com. I'm your host Greg Pulaski and this week when I caught up with head coach Neil Stafford I wanted to talk to him about the successes of the Chippewas this season but first I asked him how he felt after his first year of head coaching for the Chippewas. A lot of different emotions uh, you know obviously bittersweet is one I mean we're disappointed uh, we didn't accomplish our goals that we set forth uh, and that's ultimately making it to the NCAA tournament. Um, the record, you know, uh, is fantastic in regards to how it looks on paper. And then being the highest ranking team in the state of Michigan today is great, but w we all want to be in the NCAA tournament. That's ultimately where you want to be. So there's been some real, I guess, highs and lows. And um, for us to play at Central Michigan, to be a Chippewa, um, you know what it takes to be a champion and when you don't achieve those goals you set forth uh, it's, it's disappointing. CMU only allowed seven goals during the regular season and in doing so set a new MAC record for the fewest goals allowed crushing Miami's previous record of 12. You have two outstanding goalkeepers as well as a MAC defensive player of the year. How much of the team's success can be contributed for the defense? Uh, a lot. The defense has really been the backbone of this program um, since I've arrived. And I think, you know, I mentioned this early in the beginning of the year, we rely sometimes too heavily on certain parts of the field. And, you know, with the quality we have defensively and the technical ability we have defensively, we overloaded their plate, so to speak, at times. And that ultimately bit us in the butt. And, um, you know, I know that, you know, we had a few offensive players that we were missing this year, but, you know, those are good opportunities for people to step forward and, and, and produce. And, take hold of their opportunities that they're given. Along with it being the seventh straight year that CMU has had the highest GPA in the NSCAA, the Chippewas also had six Capital One academic all-district selections in the 2011 season, which is the most in program history. How do you believe the success in the classroom has helped benefit the team over the past several years? Well, I mean, I think, you know, we talk about being students of the game, and we say that for a reason because we feel like we do have the best students here. Um, our players are so self-driven and motivated academically. Um, and I think that sort of translates to how they do on the field. But the general personality or the general attitude that they bring to the soccer field that they do have in the classroom uh, complements each other very well at times. And, you know, for us, uh, ultimately, when you've got self-driven uh, young women, um, they tend to want to get better and get better and get better. And I think that's where we've been blessed is we've had such great self-motivated uh, young women here at the program and it's a credit to the coaches before me who have done a great job in recruiting those top level student athletes. The CMU soccer program reached 89 wins in conference play this season which is the most in conference history and over the last three seasons CMU's 48 wins are the second most in the NSCAA Great Lakes region just behind the defending national champions Notre Dame. What are some of the key factors that have led to the success of the CMU soccer program in the recent years? I mean I think again you go back to the recruiting that's happened here um, you know, and obviously, you know, before my time, we've recruited technically gifted players, tactically gifted players, players that are self-driven, players who are mentally and emotionally strong enough to deal with that load. I mean, obviously, if you're winning that many games, you're in championship scenarios or you're in playoff game scenarios. And I think what's happened here is we brought in some really talented, strong young women who have a passion for the game, uh, who are self-driven. I think when you put that stuff together, you can set yourself up for a, a recipe for success. And it's been a pleasure uh, coaching here this year, getting to work with these types of players and these types of motivated athletes. It makes your job a little bit easier and enjoyable. What are some important lessons or experiences you would like to see your players take away from the season? Boy, um, well, for one, Talent will get you the records that we spoke about earlier. There's no doubt about that, but, um, you know, I think the MAC teams, they, they raised their game this year against us, and to really have that killer instinct, that hunger to compete with that target that was, uh, has, has been on our back, um, it takes a real strong individual. The players know now, especially after playing in the game and seeing the game on video, uh, I, I know that they're taking away the right things. All right, Coach, do you have any last words for your seniors or possibly recruits or upcoming players? 
There's four seniors leaving here who have had tremendous careers. And um, I think a lot of college, uh, collegiate athletes would be jealous of the careers that they've had. Um, they were great representatives, ambassadors to the program, academically and athletically. And, you know, uh, Beth, Chelsea, Claire, and Liesl, I mean, we're going to miss them a lot. Uh, they're great people, um, and uh, they've served as tremendous role models for the rest of the team. As far as our 11 2012 coming in, um, they've got a lot to shoulder, and we're going to work really hard to help them understand what it means to be in this championship culture, what it means to be a Chippewa, and ultimately what it means to put that jersey on to represent Central Michigan University. I want us to continue the, as I said, the championship culture that has been created here. And um, that's going to take a lot of responsibility and a lot of accountability for all the players uh, that are going to be with us next year. I'd like to thank Coach and all the athletes for giving me their time this season. But of course, thank you, the viewers, for tuning in. Make sure to stay tuned to CMU Chippewas to stay up to date on all CMU athletic information. For everybody here in the CMU Sports Network, I'm Greg Pulaski.